Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be repairing this 4S lithium phosphate battery. So let's start by taking off all the old components. I'm pretty sure this balance board is broken, and I do not have another. So we're going to be using just balanced leads so we can connect it to an actual balanced charger. Yeah, this thing just looks cooked. None of the MOSFETs look bad, but it just looks cooked. Next, we're going to fix these two cells that have their leads coming off, right here and right here. For that, I'm just going to be using this small lithium battery, connected to two prongs here, and we'll see if that works. You can actually weld batteries with just a small lithium battery and a connector. That's pretty cool. So here we've got all the balance wires and the two main wires. So first thing we're going to do is find out where all these balance wires go and we're going to start connecting the balance wires on the this lead right here to all the ones on here. Okay, our battery's all done. 10 amp hours, 12 volts. We shall now test to see if our balance leads even work. And let's see if it actually puts out power. Of course, this is completely dead right now, so it's not really gonna be putting out much. And that's why we're gonna charge it up right after I test to make sure that this actually puts out some amount of power. Yep, it works. You can hear it dying though. So we're gonna charge this thing up and we're gonna come back. Okay, so it is in fact charging at 1.7 amps, and let's see if we've got a, yep, we've got it. We're just going to let this thing charge up, and I'll tell you its capacity when we get done. Here we are, the capacity of the battery ended up being around 9,000 milliamp hours, or 9 amp hours, at 13.2 volts. So not exactly the 10 amp hours I was rated for, but close enough.